Kau main music band. Okey rane? Video mana? Ah lagi okey. Now this is the type of is a cutter have is different parts. Ah? Yo ah klasi klasi na ano? Is the hand tools? Wala na yung person, mag-take, 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 At least naka demonstrate yung ano eh. Kahit yun sa bahay nyo, kung ganitong ano, alam na niyo yun. Pero sa barko, ganito din yun. Tagal ko hinanap sa YouTube to eh. That is regular of there's a uh, day of how to use cutter. Now another. <coughs> Now is the needle long nose filler. Long nose is used for this. Uh, you see? We didn't want to hold up ng mga maliliit na may butas tapos iipit mo yung dulo niya. Sometimes you need a really a thin needle nose pliers like these ones. Recently I had to remove a power uh, pin from a wall socket from a power connector. And these big ones they didn't do anything. They couldn't fit in the tight. Uh, maganda yung isa na mataas yung ano niya dahil medyo pang is, uh, medyo may malalim na ano. May kunin ka, okay lang yun. That is a very... Kaysa maigse. Yung maigse, kung na mayroon kang naga... Nagabaga na ano, hawakan mo. Pwede mo din yung hawak yan eh. But there are different models. This is really the cheapest one I could find. But actually, it was the only one that had the shape I needed anyway in the shop, in the store. So, I was lucky. This, they can be very useful someday when you need to <laughs> no other players will do and uh, also tweezers are not when I, they're not good enough because they don't have the good grip so it grip like a plier pair of pliers so you see here these ones also work Yeah, you see. And the small ones, they they have even more clearance. Imagine the space was smaller and you couldn't. They have allowance. They say you need to get two. I got two. I thought, why not get just in case, right? Um, I'm. I got the very cheap and I didn't want to spend too much on them anyway because I wouldn't use them that often. And I really don't uh, use tools so much. Watch this. Yeah, that was my phone <laughs> falling. And uh, look, I can even do this and remove the cable tie. I'm not sure if that's the best way to do it, but it worked. So, yeah. I have two. I'll keep one in the car just in case and one here around the desk. Or it depends, or I'll see. Any brand should be fine as long as they're thin and long. Long nose pliers and needle nose pliers, needle long, needle nose pliers and long nose pliers. You must have at least one pair. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share, and I will see you next time. Bye.
Gane. Iba na naman yan. This is lame or flat nose. Flat nose failure. That required on board the ship also. Must be he knows the kinds of these hand tools on board the ship. Slip you in. Your signal, eh? and you and player. Do I have a good look at class? Eh, can I go some adjust? Adjust, can I go study? How to work of their very size. Smaller size of the gate of this good grip, huh? At least alam nyo kung paano yan paggamit. This is a follow from the instruction of the Chad and Marina. This is their learning outcome of hand tools. This identify this usage of this pillar. Types of pillar. There's the side of pillar, cutting, side kill. My own lens, but photo. Mau sabihin ni Hendika Electrician, gamit ka din dito eh, kaya sa bahay. You see, it's very sharp. Please, magkita kayo na gaganito. Pwede na pala sa bahay mag lagay kayo ng ilaw dyan. Hindi na kayo mag suhol ng kapitbahay. <laughs> Groove joint pliers. This pair here in today's video, I am going to show you how to use groove joint pliers. This pair here is from Amazon Basics, um, you know, but all sorts of different brands. Flip joint pliers. Get out there. And they come Flip joint pliers or not? Well, this is a pair of tenon <coughs> joint pliers. Um, and these go by a lot of other names as well. Uh, one of the more common ones that you might know these by is called channel lock pliers. And Channel Lock is actually a brand name, so they've done a really good. Yung gikating natin don, pwede yan ay dumput mo don, dahil malayo eh. People just refer to this tool as Channel Lock. So you know, but like I said, you know, these are groove joint pliers, or people refer to them as Channel Locks, or there's a whole bunch of other names as well.
Uh, but before we begin, whenever you're working with tools, make sure that you're always wearing the proper safety equipment and take all safety precautions. Okay, so groove joint pliers, um, these can come in useful in a lot of different situations and they're adjustable so you can adjust these to, you know, all of the different sizes here, um, depending on whatever the job is that you're working on. And these are really useful for getting out like stripped nuts and bolts, um, you know, and they adjust um, all the way down this whole uh, channel here into these grooves. Um, so there is a certain way that these need to be used as well. So when you're gripping onto something, I'm just going to use this screwdriver as an example, but when you're gripping onto something, make sure we got a good view here, you're going to want to turn this way. So um, by doing that, when you're gripping onto something and turning this way, um, it's using the teeth inside of the groove joint pliers and is helping you, uh, you know, to remove whatever you're trying to remove or whatever you're trying to do. And if you turn the groove joint pliers the other direction, like this, although you may be able to get your job completed, it's going to be working against you and it's going to be much harder to do. So you want to make sure that you're turning the groove joint pliers this direction and you do not want to turn them this direction when you're using them. And if you do need to turn them this direction, just flip the groove joint pliers around and now you would be able to, uh, you know, whatever you're grabbing onto that you're trying to turn, this is the direction that you would be able to go. All right, guys, well, that was it for this video, and I hope it's been helpful. And this is a great tool to have in your toolbox, and it can come in useful in a lot of different situations. And there are a lot of different brands out there that make groove joint pliers, and they come in a lot of different sizes as well. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching. Okay. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. This should be the thumbnail. Yeah, definitely that should be the thumbnail. And these are my long nose. long nose pliers, the old ones. And these are pretty good. They can also cut wires really well. And they have a really good grip. But they're not small enough. Sometimes you need really thin needle nose pliers. Like these ones. Recently I had to remove a power... Uh, pin from a wall socket from a power connector and these big ones they didn't do anything they couldn't fit in the tight space but then I went and I found these uh, needle nose pliers they don't cut anything really their uh, surface in inside in the where is the grip it's just flat and maybe this is good this is but there are different models this is really the cheapest one i could find but actually it was the only one that had the shape i needed anyway in the shop in the store so i was lucky with that and these they can be very useful someday when you need to get, get something from a small space and no other pliers would do and uh, also tweezers are not when I, they're not good enough because they don't have the good grip solid grip like a plier pair of pliers so you see here these ones also work and the small ones they they have even more clearance imagine the the space was smaller and you couldn't uh, yeah i got two i got two i thought why not get two just, just in, in case, case right yeah, some unknown brand to me. I don't really care about brands. I got the, they were very cheap and I didn't want to spend too much on them anyway because I wouldn't use them that often. And I really don't uh, use tools so much. Watch this. Yeah, that was my phone <laughs> falling. And uh, look, I can even do this and remove the cable tie. I'm not sure if that's the best way to do it, but it worked, so yeah. I have two, I'll keep one in the car just in case, and one here around desk, or <laughs> is the pens, or I'll see.
any brand should be fine as long as they're thin and long. Long nose pliers and needle nose pliers, needle long, needle nose pliers and long nose pliers, you must have at least one pair. Thanks for watching. Sub Merong long handle, merong short handle, head. Nah, lain-lain betul kelas ini. Eh. Masa aku sendiri kan ini. So now, you see already about this is a hand tools. Long slip join plier, diagonal, long nose, flat nose, end cutter, vice grip, and this is the groove pillar. Nakita na nyo yun. Dito sa YouTube, tagal ko nga hinanap ito eh. Yung attendance nyo, huwag nyo limutan yung attendance nyo dyan. Dahil dito ko nagbase sa ano eh. Diba kasi yung bagong kulikulong kayo sa binigay ng ano eh. Ito talaga yung ano, walang walang practical. Dati may practical kasi ito eh. Ito ngayon wala. Eh, lahat ng mga equipment doon sa mga tools ipa identify o pa explain sa instructor sa mga klase. Siguro na niyo sa mga bahay niyo mayroong mga ganitong mga tools ayron diyan hindi lang kayo naga ano yung iba nakagamit yan dahil nagtrabaho ng shop yun kaya yung iba wala si nag ano pa yan eh mga medyo bago pang lalo na ko first year pa pero kung may pag face to face tayo pupunta tayo doon, doon sa may mga store doon ipakita ko sa inyo na Aktual talaga yun. Ako lang mag-demonstrate. Hindi na kayo. Kung mayroon na yung mag- uh, ano. Kasi kung pag online lang ito, siyempre, ako doon mag-demonstrate. At least nga, alam na niya yun nga mga idea. So, naamoy question? Ikaw, Simbureo? Hello? Kini si Biligas. Sir. Wala question diyan? Wala sir. Oh, uh, hinanap ko kasi ito so, sa mga YouTube nang ano, gi-isa-isa ko kasi nandito 'yon sa yung binigay pa doon sa yung binigay pa doon sa ano, 
sa marina at sa kachin na requirement nila. May marka nga ito. Eh, oh. Yan, oh. Kanila yan. Siyempre, yan ang order nila. Yun ang, ang ano talaga, mapalo ta sa instruction. Yung gaganito na mga klase na usage of the following types of flyer. Yung flies, ang ano yan? Yung flies. Daming klase kasi dyan eh. Huwag ito naman dyan sa claw hammer. Do you have a claw hammer, ball pin hammer, a straight hammer, and saw paste hammer, lead of copper hammer, and inserted paste hammer, welding and welding hammer, and mallets. Kanang welding hammer? Yan ang ginagamit ng ano yun, ang panglinis na kung mag-welding ka. Hmm? Di ba may plaques dyan? Yan ang ano mo. Pag ano dyan, makita niya doon sa ano, kung mag-face to face ko sunod na linggo, makita niya lahat ng mga tinuturo ko dito nga galing sa YouTube. Aroon ma ma-identify talaga niyo nga sa actual na ako na naman doon mag-demonstrate sa ganito ding oras. So now, ano yung mantakotob dito sa Welding hammer, yan ang ginagamit doon. Pag sabing welding hammer o bronze barko, yan, nakunin mo. Huwag kang magkuha ng bullpen hammer. Hindi ka gaya doon sa kasama ko nung araw, sinutusa ng bullpen hammer. Ang tagal-tagal doon hinanap, dyan na sa harap. Hindi nakakita kasi tingin pa ng ano. Kasi puti yun eh. Hindi man yun, Pilipino. Pag sakay ko ng mga German na barko, halo-halo mo kami. Balipitong klase, yung tagapulan, sinutusa ng Bullpen hammer, tagal pa doon. Kasi mahina pa yun sa ano. Wala mang English masyado doon. Uh, mayroong soap hammer. Mayroon nga rubber hammer yan eh. Yung ginagamit ng ano, pang sintri, pang sin, ipasinter mo yung siap at saka ano, yan ang ipalo mo. Parang hindi magkaroon ng friction yung metal. So dito tayo banda hanggang wilder's hammer. Alam na niyo yun, kung makita niyo doon, piece to piece, susunod na linggo, mag-post lang ko doon. So, do you have question? Wala. Wala, sir. Oh. No, sir. Wala. At least, yung nakakita. Yung iba ito, hindi pa nakakita. Yung yung iba dyan, yung nagtrabaho sa siyap, nakakita na yan. Inabol ko nga ito ng hanap ng YouTube eh. Siyempre, para makita natin doon sa ano, notes lang yung binigay dito eh. Paano kaya magsalita-salita ya wala pala diyan dito sa ano. Mabuti nga mga ganito. Tapos ako na mag-demonstrate doon sa next week. May piece to piece isang linggo, isang beses. 'Yon makita nimo yung mga klase na ano. Kumpleto man dito sa Pimay. Yung dati na i-demonstrate yung ano ko doon, yung sa pagkating ng acetylene, bali advance lang 'yon. Ito talaga yung nagasunod tayo dito sa Marina Oxide required. Okay? Now I leave and then for, don't forget your attendance. Wala? Okay na? Okay, sir. Okay, I leave now of this Zoom meeting. Okay, sir. Mag okay, sir. Uh, makita man yun muna. Makita man yun sa kanil kasi ipadala ko man ito. Doon sa mga ano. Yung naka, hindi naka-attend, either of nai naga... Ano bang ginagawa nila? Ako ba dyan? Ano ba? Walking student. At least nga, makita nila din. Doon na sa barko, hindi na may inorante. Okay? Okay, sir. Okay, I live now. Thank you very much. Don't forget your attendance. Thank you, sir. Thank you also. Thank you very much.